वार्म अप एंड कूल डाउन एक्सरसाइजेस आर क्रिटिकल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एनी फिटनेस प्रोग्राम वाइल मेनी पीपल ओवरलुक द वार्म अप एंड कूल डाउन रूटीन्स दे आर एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज योर रेगुलर वर्कआउट प्लान यू मे बिलीव दैट स्ट्रेचिंग इज अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम और दैट प्रैक्टिसिंग दीज एक्सरसाइजेस वुड नॉट मेक यू अपियर एज कूल एज लिफ्टिंग वेट्स बट वार्म अप एंड कूल डाउन रूटीन्स मे प्रूव टू बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट मेक्स दैम सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट ऑल एक्सरसाइजेस कैन यू इंक्लूड इन दैम to know more stay with us till the end of this video subscribe to infs for more such informative videos do not forget to press the bell icon and never miss any updates from us all the information in this video is research based and the reference links are mentioned in the description box let us start by understanding what's the fuss about warm up and cool down warm up refers to the gentle exercise preceding vigorous physical activity while cool down refers to the gentle exercise after vigorous physical activity and is also called warm down warm up prepares the body for the exercises while exercising all vitals of your body like the heart rate and the body temperature increase cool down helps to get these vitals to the normal level warm ups include 5 to 10 minutes of low to moderate intensity muscular endurance activities coupled with mobility initiation for the joints including dynamic stretching it can be classified as general or specific a general warm up refers to the type of warm up in which movements and energy substrates that are predominant in the exercise routine are not explicitly addressed a specific warm up refers to a routine that includes movements that mimic the exercise routine but at lower intensities cool down includes 5 to 10 minutes of stretching exercises specifically performed for the trained muscle group or even the whole body in order to revert the muscles to their resting length further warm up and cool down can also be classified as active and passive active warm up involves exercise while passive warm up involves raising muscle temperature or core temperature by some external means including showers or baths saunas diathermy and heating pads similarly Active cool down includes an activity that involves voluntary low to moderate intensity exercise or movement performed within 2 hour after training and competition while passive cool down includes interventions such as sitting rest saunas pneumatic leg compression electrostimulation etc now let us understand why warm up and cool down hold so much significance let us compare your exercise routine to an examination What do you do before and after an exam? Before your exam, you prepare yourself meticulously for it. While after finishing it, you may go on a holiday or a vacation to relax. Think of warm-ups as your examination preparation. It gets you ready for your exercise physically, physiologically, and kinematically. It works to warm the muscles and increase blood supply to them. Muscle temperature in normal situations is 36 degree and needs between 10 to 15 minutes to reach 38 degree which gives higher efficiency. If the speed and the intensity of the exercise are increased too quickly, the body cannot keep up with the oxygen demand and the muscles start producing energy anaerobically. that is without oxygen this leads to a build up of lactate which contributes to a feeling of tiredness heaviness and stiffness in the muscles not just the skeletal muscles but the heart muscles are also affected by warm ups it improves blood circulation to the body parts and also increases the ability of hemoglobin to carry more oxygen and increase response to metabolic processes apart from this warming up also hones your potential and strength it makes the joints tendons and ligaments flexible thus reducing injuries and it also reduces the risk of rupture or pulling of tendons or ligaments another important benefit of warm up is that you will be mentally prepared for the exercise it will help you in getting your posture stance and technique correct and make you more efficient in your lifts Cool downs can be compared to the post exam holiday that relaxes you and gets you out of the stress faced during the exam. It facilitates a gradual transition from an exercise level to a resting state. It is a way to transition the body to a state of relaxation after training and if done properly can optimize the process of recovery. It can effectively recover the heart rate and blood pressure to pre-exercise resting levels leading to an antiarrhythmic effect. and protecting the individual from a cardiac event in other words 
cooling down helps in attaining a physiological balance after you complete your workout with a proper cool down the muscles attain their resting length sooner and the prolonged pains due to muscular tension may be prevented cool down is also important for reaching an emotional balance after the possible joy or disappointment of a performance now coming to learning the right way to warm up the most common exercises to be included in your warm up are dynamic stretching exercises it involves moving a muscle or joint through its full range of motion in a slow controlled manner these stretches are simpler versions of movements that you will be doing during your main exercise routine examples include leg swinging arm rotations neck rotations torso twists etc after these exercises you should feel warm with an elevated heart rate but not completely out of breath you should still be able to hold a conversation you should be sweating your muscles and joints should feel warm supple and be able to easily move through their full range of movement let's move to how you can perform cool down activities Static stretching exercises are usually performed while cooling down. While doing these exercises, you will have to choose the target muscles and position for stretching. Then, gently move to the point of feeling the stretch and not pain. Breathe slowly and evenly and hold for 30 to 60 seconds. Release and return to the starting position. You can practice some exercises such as prone butt kicks, half kneeling stretch, standing half lotus stretch. sitting lotus stretch sit and reach seated hamstring stretch and heel core stretch you may also simply involve continuing to walk around the space or move on the spot using your main muscle groups while you feel your breathing gradually slow down or you may just lie still on the floor and focus on relaxing your breath to sum up warm up and cool down are integral parts of an exercise routine although they take only a few minutes they will make all the difference skipping either of the ones may have negative consequences on your body along with the physical benefits both warm ups and cool downs will leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated after your workout and will help in giving your exercise routine a holistic approach no exercise program is complete without a warm up and cool down hence remember to take enough time to gradually warm up into your exercise program and completely cool down after finishing one let us know your experience with your warm up and cool down routines in the comment section below like and share this video if you found it fun and informative also do not forget to subscribe to our channel as we keep bringing you more content on fitness nutrition and health